Hello everyone and welcome back to another Python tutorial. And this time I'll be going over how to use heat maps in this League of Legends ranked game data set. So last time we left off with bivariate analysis and univariate analysis at the start with the histograms. But this time we'll be doing multivariate analysis and that basically means that we're going to analyze every variable's correlation with every other variable. So here it is. Of course you can select any number that's over 2 and you can call it multivariate analysis but I just decided that I want to do it for all of the variables here in the data set and that creates a heat map when you look at the correlations and correlation in this sense is Pearson's R and you can look up on Google what Pearson's R is all about but basically it just shows the correlation between two variables um, let's see so the more extreme the value is and it ranges from negative 1 to 1 by the way the more they're correlated so like for example right you can see down here there's like this really um, strange dense blue line diagonally and that's basically just every variable correlation with itself and of course if you look at your correlation with yourself then it's gonna be one and when you get really negative it gets to negative one and that's basically just like they're directly opposite of each other so that's what it means and then let's just go over the code right now so we have heat map data equals data dot drop all of these columns axis equals one so what I do here is I drop game ID because obviously game ID has nothing to do with the rest of the variables and then for the vision related ones I already created a new variable or a new column board diff which is just all of these but like encapsulated into one and if you want to see what I did let's scroll up uh, yeah right here so this is how I got this new column and it's by using all of the columns that I dropped down there in the heat map so here we are and then I do a sns.heatmap sns is seaborn and then I do the heatmap data dot correlation so that's dot core it gets you the Pearson R of every single variables relationship with each other so that's what it creates here and I set the center equal to zero because uh, there's some variables that have a negative correlation and some that have a positive correlation and C map is equal to B W R underscore R so blue I mean B stands for blue W stands for white and R stands for red so that's like the color theme we have going on here and then underscore R means like you reverse it because previously it was red at 1 and then blue at negative 1 but what I wanted was for 1 to be blue and negative 1 to be red because I wanted to show that if it's positive then blue team is more likely to win and then if it's red then Red team's more likely to win. Um, so yeah, that's my reasoning there for setting the color map. And then I set the title, not much to say there. Now let's just look at word diff. And of course the rest of the stuff, you can look at it if you want. It's on the screen. You can just pause the video. But um, Or you can just like take a screenshot and put it on your own computer. But what I want to look at is the ward difference and how it correlates to the, the other variables. So like, technically, I think it should be blue for its correlation with blue wins because it is the blue vision score minus the red vision score. So that should be like just obviously going in the favor of blue team with a positive correlation 
and you can see here that it actually is like a shade of blue but it's pretty light that means that the correlation is quite low and if you wanted to see the exact value then you can just do you can just like get a new data frame and remove all of the other columns except for blue winds and ward diff and you can do dot core on that print it out and you'll have that value which is probably like from 0 0.25 to 0 that's what I would say it kind of looks like to me and of course that does show a, a kind of minimal correlation but at least it's something it's not like going in the opposite direction with like negative zero point something something and of course that's what we want to see and I think everyone knows that vision is kind of a minimal factor to winning games but that it's still somewhat important and that's what this heat map can show um, and along with the other variables you can see how they correlate to um, winning the game so I think let me just look at this first row here let's see the darkest colors I mean this one let's go down and it's the total gold of blue team and we can go here go down and that's the blue gold diff so of course it seems that gold is something that has a lot to do with the outcome of the game and then for red red gold diff and of course that's one of the darker colors and then experience diff also seems to have a, a mildly strong R and that's about it for this multivariate analysis hope you guys learned something new about heat maps so thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time